Hello everyone and welcome back to my crafting world. This is Anna. Guys, today I am going to show you how to put together the hamburger box. Um, because it is a little confusing because of all the parts and so I want you to know what goes where and how many to cut of each one to get your box together. So here are your parts and this is just a new package so I can show you uh, all the parts together. So this is the hamburger box that I have put together and uh, it actually comes together really quickly. Uh, it is a big, big uh, die. So I wanted to show you how to put it together. Here is the inside and as you can see it's, it's got a lot of space on the inside. So if you look at the box itself on the bottom half and you could flip it over to where um, your your top um, you can you can make it to where these edges face up or they face down either way I like mine facing down so I put mine down and then this one will go up and you, you flip it over these will come up but this one will go down so if you have directional paper, you uh, need to see uh, how to cut your paper so it's not, you know, upside down. So here is the box itself. And if you will notice, these two sides have the little uh, tabs at the ends. And then the bottom one has one tab uh, panel and then the other uh, edges are straight. So we're going to start with the bottom. And I have already cut the pieces. This is your uh, base piece. So you need to cut two of your base pieces. And then um, your uh, side pieces are these, okay? And I mean, you would think, you know, you cut two of each because you have two sides that you have to put together, but you don't. You cut three of the tabbed uh, the tab pieces with the tab on the on the end you cut three of those and you only cut one of the straight edge piece and then uh, your layering pieces so we will get into the layering pieces in a little bit so I'm going to keep these here I'm going to remove my actual die pieces so your box um, this one, I'm going to use this one as the bottom and this one is the top. And I have already gone ahead and I've already um, folded my, my pieces here. So this one's for the bottom and actually it goes this way. Okay, these are, are the sides like here. This, these are the sides. And then this one is the one that's going to have a, um, a piece with the tab. Okay, and then this one is going to have a piece with the straight edge. This one's the piece with the straight edge. So I am going to glue this one down and I am going to glue it on the inside. Let me put down my mat, guys. So I'm going to glue one of these with the tab and I'm going to glue it on the inside so that my tabs are on the inside, okay? There's that one and just, uh, you know, just go up to the score line where, just don't pass that score line. I've already put a bottom on here. Just don't pass the score line. And then this one, guys, it's got two tabs, okay? So this one is going to go on the front, and then this one is gonna connect to the top piece. So I am going to put this one on here. Let me flip it over so I can see where I'm putting this. And I don't go past that score line. Okay. So there's that one. So that, this one is complete so far. Now I'm gonna grab, again, this is my top. 
and I am going to add two pieces with the tabs to this, okay? All right, guys, here are my two pieces, okay? So this one is going to go, I need these two tabbed pieces on either side, left and right, like here, left and right. So this piece is my closure piece. So I need to put this longer piece, I need to glue that to the top of my box, okay? And then we're gonna, we're gonna work on closing those tabs up. So this goes glued to the top of my, of my box. If my left and right are together, Okay, so I'm gonna turn it this way just uh, so I can see what I'm doing here. All right, here we go guys. This is my top and this is my bottom. So this is going to we're going to glue those flaps down, okay, and this one is going to attach, it's going to latch right there on each side, okay. So let me go ahead and glue these tabs together on the bottom. So I'm going to glue all my bottom tabs first, and then I'm going to glue the top ones. All right guys, the bottom of my box is finished. So now I'm going to glue the tabs to the inside of my lid. Alright guys, that's it. You just glue those and then this will hinge on to the little tabs here and create your closure. And that's it. I prefer it going down, but hey, you you can ab absolutely do it this way. Okay, so for your layering pieces, and I, I apologize that my, my cardstock is dirty. I washed my um, my cutting plate after I saw that because uh, yeah I don't need dirty pieces but it didn't really bother me because I'm going to cover it up so for your layering pieces she did send us three she designed three of these panels here okay and then she she designed one of these and I kind of would have liked an extra one of these but okay it is what it is so you're going to cut this one out three times okay because you have one two three with these tabs so you need three of these and then you need a uh, five you need five of these pieces and uh, again if you're using directional paper you really need to see how your um, what direction your um, you're cutting so I've got mine all cut out I have one two three four five and then I have one two three with the little tabs and then you need two I forgot this one the ones for the top and ones for the bottom so you need two of these so I'm going to um, like like I said I'm going to see where each of these go 
because one goes right side up and the other one goes this way. So if you have directional paper, you know, just, uh, whoops, wrong one. So if you have directional paper, uh, you know, you need to see uh, what direction you're cutting. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut these layers, I mean, uh, glue these layers down. All right, guys, I have covered my box all the way around the bottom. Okay, so this is how your box latches. Okay, there you go. And But mine is gonna go this way. You can do it this way, or you can do it this way. Now, I did for this box, I lined the inside because I personally don't like the way it looks with all those, you know, all those connecting tabs. I didn't like the way that looked. It doesn't, it's personal preference. I will probably um, do mine in red, uh, this one, because I like that finished look that this gives you on the inside. But that's, again, personal preference. But it doesn't take long to assemble this box. And then when you close it, um, if you're not careful, these kind of, if, if you open it too far, these kind of get, you know, they curl in a little bit so uh be mindful of that i guess but uh it closes and it latches and it is ready to go um i know this is christmas theme but um i'm doing a christmas and july swap and i'm going to use this in the swap so anyway it's that simple it really does come together really quickly and if your paper is non-directional just you know you just get to cutting gluing and you are done with your box and the fun part for me is embellishing so I'm going to do that next um, of course uh, you won't see it until I am finished with the project and then I'll probably do a video showing the project but anyway so that is your box oh did I oh I got I did get a panel upside down I got that one upside down guys I just noticed that and actually this one too, you know what I did? I flipped it this way on the bottom side. So I got some of them wrong, but it is what it is. I'm not going to change it. It's going to stay like that. Yeah, the bottom ones are upside down. And this one, it is what it is guys. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you later. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot, guys.